AI cars are not the future. They are the now. And anyone who doesn't know that is way behind. In this video, I'm going to show you the top 5 AI cars on the road right now. My personal favorite is the Audi Q4 e-tron with its augmented reality head-up display. But we're talking about the 5 best AI cars after all. So, each car on this list is sure to blow your mind. Anyway, let's go through the list. And then when we're done, you can tell me which of them you like the most down in the comments section. Deal? Alright, let's get to it. Picture this, you order an Uber to take you to the airport for your vacation in Bali. You can see that your driver has arrived, so you step out to load the boot with your stuff. The car window comes down, but there's no one in the driver's seat. You look up, maybe the driver has stepped out, but there's no one there. The next thing you hear is a voice from the car's speaker. It introduces itself as your Uber, and reality sets in, it's an AI-powered car. That probably sounds like a scene from some sci-fi movie, but what if I told you that's our reality now? I'm not talking about some utopian future, I mean today. Take a pause and let that sink in. We now have fully automated cars, and I mean the whole deal. There are self-driving cars that keep to the speed limit, merge onto highways seamlessly, follow traffic signals, and more. That sounds a lot like being with Will Smith in his I, Robot universe. For some people, this is a cause for panic, and it's understandable. Since the times when we relied on animals as our means of transport, humans have remained at the helm of affairs. No matter how many times you've taken a route while traveling with your horse or donkey, you'd never leave it to keep going as it likes. Maybe that would even be safer because animals have survival instincts. They are smart enough to not intentionally put themselves in harm's way. Machines, on the other hand, are different, as you very well know. How then is it possible that anyone thinks it's worth considering that we should permit artificial intelligence in the automotive industry? Let's start here. There's no fear or mishap you've considered that the genius creators of these innovative machines haven't. In fact, like many other inventions, they have been created to simplify life for humans and improve our safety. How so? AI cars have several sensors, cameras, and visual systems that work together to assess the safety of their environment. These receive loads of data that a human most likely can't assess because we primarily rely on our sight while driving to make decisions. With these data, the cars can make quick and appropriate decisions that contribute to safe driving. Another thing to consider is how long the concept of AI-driven cars has existed. I'll save you the stress of hopping over to Google by telling you here and now. The first attempt at driverless cars started as far back as 1987, that's 37 years ago. It was called the Eureka Prometheus Project and premiered by Mercedes-Benz and the Bundeswehr University, Munich. Several universities and leading car manufacturers such as Peugeot, Fiat, Volkswagen, and Volvo also participated in the project. This was long ago, but even then, the brains behind the project considered important factors like driver assistance by computers, vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication, vehicle-to-environment communication, and so on. Here's one more reason, consistency. We already trust computers and AI with most parts of our lives. Doctors use computers to assess your breathing, engineers use it to design and model structures, and security companies use it to gauge threat levels and an object recognition. The reason they're being used in these industries is because they do work. Since they rely on a set of algorithms or rules, they are predictable and immune to distractions, unlike humans. All I'm saying is that a lot of work has gone into this. These cars are decades in the making, so I'd say they're trustworthy. Besides, we've seen how well artificial intelligence delivers in other areas of our life today. I'd say it has a fighting chance. That said, in no particular order, here are the top 5 AI cars in the world now. I'll start off with the Tesla Model Y. If there's one brand that you'd expect to deliver an AI-driven car, it would be Tesla, and it did over a decade ago with the Tesla Model S. Multiple refinements of this car's hardware and autonomous driving technology led to the creation of the Tesla Model Y, which has been produced since 2020. It is a battery-powered electric mid-size crossover SUV featuring a heat pump for interior cabin heating and a range of 283 to 331 miles. Let's start with the basics. The first thing you'll notice about this car is its size. 
It may not be a big deal to you if you're used to regular petrol-powered cars, but for those who have followed Tesla's AI car releases, it is a big deal. Although it resembles the popular Tesla Model 3, it provides extra space and can accommodate up to seven people. This makes it perfect for road trips with family. The car's efficiency ranges from 3.6 to 4.0 miles, while its maximum charge speed is 250 kilowatts. And now, to its AI-related features, the Tesla model features Summon Mode. Think of it as whistling to call your dog to return to you, only this time, your car is what shows up. When Summon Mode is activated, the car will drive out of wherever it's parked to meet you. There is also synchrony between the car and your phone. With this car, you don't need a key. As long as you have the Tesla app, you can send electronic keys to third parties. You can also adjust its heating and limit its top speed within the app. The Tesla Model Y was the best-selling car of 2023, after the Toyota Corolla. It is also the first electric vehicle to achieve this feat that says a lot about the car's performance, don't you think? Next on my list is the BMW 93. This car is also an electric SUV, featuring 20-inch wheels and a 286-horsepower electric motor. Its range of 286 to 290 miles falls short of the Tesla Model Y, but there are other features to tickle every driver's fancy. For instance, its one-pedal driving feature brings lots of relief to people who live in traffic-heavy cities like New York and London. For most users of this sports activity vehicle, SUV, its 400 newton meters torque is a distinctive feature, especially when it comes to overtaking. Another thing I love about the noiseless car is its multiple modes. BMW has designed it so that your driving experience can be tailored to suit your environment or your driving preferences. For instance, the B mode is perfect for drives within the city, thanks to regenerative braking. One more smart feature of this car is its satellite navigation system. It can sense when you reach an area with a lower speed limit. In response, it will automatically reduce its speed gradually so you don't exceed the speed limit for that region. You know what that means? Goodbye to speeding tickets! Now, let's talk about the Volvo EX30. You can bet that where innovation is the talk of the show, Volvo will not be left out. We're talking about one of the brands that participated when the concept of AI cars was being researched. Lovers of speed should jump on all the thrills of this affordable car, which has been reported to be as fast as the Tesla Model Y. It's not as big as the Model Y, and this just adds to its appeal for some people. Get the long-range version, and you'll be doing 298 miles on the motor. Equipped with a big screen that controls practically everything, the AI-powered features of the Volvo EX30 include Park Pilot Assist, Pilot Assistance, Collision Avoidance, and the Driver Alert System. If you're a driver who struggles with parallel parking, the Volvo EX30 is like that supportive friend guiding you through it, the exception is you can do it together. This car can maneuver its way around parking spots to get you in the right position. With Pilot Assist, the Volvo EX30 simplifies changing lanes, but that's not all. If you get nervous when you're beside bigger vehicles, the car will automatically increase the distance between you. Collision avoidance is a safety feature that detects the risks of collision and issues audio and visual warnings, both during the day and at night. If there's an imminent collision, it will automatically apply the brakes or even steer the car. If you want to enjoy the AI experience while driving at a ridiculously affordable rate, consider this car. Up next is the Audi Q4 e-tron. Here's another electric SUV with contemporary features, including a 10.1-inch touchscreen. It seats just five passengers and has a battery capacity of 95 kilowatt hour, but it offers an impressive range, reaching up to 300 miles. Looking at the car, you may get the impression that its weight may impede its speed, but with its torque of 310 newton meters, you couldn't be further from the truth. Watch the speed kick in as you step on the car's accelerator. Like many other electric AI cars, it offers regenerative braking, including the B mode, which causes it to slow down gradually. However, it uses the double pedal system like regular cars, meaning you'll have to step on the brake for the car to stop completely. Amazon's Alexa will accompany you on trips as you drive the Audi Q4 e-tron, allowing you to issue voice commands to manage your devices. The touchscreen I mentioned earlier is an MMI touch display that works just like your phone. It lets you access SatNav and link your phone to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. If your phone supports wireless charging, the Q4's got you covered too. 
Now, let's bring out the big guns and talk AI. First up on the Audi Q4 e-tron is the augmented reality head-up display. It is the first Audi car with this feature. As you drive, you can view real-time information on the car right in front of you. Another AI-powered feature on the car is the traffic sign recognition system. It uses cameras to detect some road signs and speed limits, alerting you via its virtual cockpit when you exceed the speed limit. Adaptive Cruise Assist helps with changing lanes, while the Audi Sense Assist uses radar sensors to alert you to vehicles in your blind spot. The final car on this list is the Nissan LEAF, a sleek electric car whose range reaches up to 212 miles. It has an 8.0-inch screen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, just like the Audi Q4 e-tron and starts with a 40kWh battery in the standard LEAF S. This car accommodates five adults nicely and has flexible space to carry your luggage. Automatic temperature control is the norm with AI-powered cars, and the Nissan LEAF is not left out. Thanks to its e-pedal, you can cruise around town with one pedal while regenerative braking does all the work in the Nissan LEAF. I must say that the safety features on this car are impressive. They include the Safety Shield 360 Suite and the ProPilot Assist Semi-Autonomous Driving Mode. Some of the components of the safety suite are automatic emergency braking with pedestrians walking, blind spot warning, and high beam assist. If you drive at night, then you know how annoying beams from other cars can be. With high beam assist, the Nissan LEAF detects approaching vehicles and automatically reduces the high beams of your headlights. When you get to a spot where the high beams are needed, they'll also be turned back on. That way, the risk of collisions and accidents due to visual disturbances is reduced. With ProPilot Assist, the car's camera detects lane makers and attempts to control the car's movement to keep it at the center. Another car that has this feature is the Tesla Model S, which uses more sensors to achieve the same effect. I don't know about you, but seeing all the possibilities of artificial intelligence in the automotive industry has got me excited. Things are not the same, and I'm here for it.